And this is trash, you don't want that. Hey guys, this is Steve with Blackfly. I hope everybody's doing well. In this short little video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to create a welded loop. In this case, I'm just setting up a reel for my son. And it's got a, it's got a, a cheap fly line on it. And as you can see, it's just got a perfection loop tied on the end of the fly line. And then also most of your leaders come with a perfection loop. Makes it easy, you know, for putting your leaders on and off but but this knot on this fly line here is it's going to cause a lot of like what they call guide bump so when it's going through your rod your rod eyes it's going to go like bump 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 most of your good fly lines they're going to come with a welded loop and there's not going to be any knots it's just going to be a nice seamless loop so I'm just going to show you guys real quick how to create your own welded loop. I learned this uh, years ago from a, a saltwater angler in Florida. Anyways, first thing we're going to do is we are going to cut, boom, we're just going to cut that right off. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take the leader and I'm going to cut that. After you cut the knots off, we're going to take a razor blade. And we're going to lay this as flat as possible. We're going to go back about an inch. and just super careful and slow shave one side of the poly coating off of the fly line so this poses one small problem okay so this is a floating line this is set up for our dry fly rod and we don't want this line to sink and with with us cutting off that coating we're exposing the inner core to absorbing water and sinking our flies so what I like to do next is just take a lighter, you hit it with just a little bit of heat, not a lot, just enough to seal that up. Okay, so now we're just going to pinch the line flat to flat so we can, to create as level of a transition as possible. We're going to open up the jaws on our vise. Okay, so I've got it pinched together. And the vise should look some kind of like that just however you can pinch those flat sides together it's... okay so next we're going to take some black thread and our loom bobbin fly tying bobbin if you don't have one of these um i'll try to remember to link one down below they're pretty cheap what we're going to do is we're going to wrap our finger around this tag end and we're going to do one overhand and i'm going to pull up with my bobbin and pull down with my hand and I'm going to wrap slowly back and the reason I'm using the tag end is because this doesn't have any rigidity like a hook does so I've got to create something that, I mean so I've got to be able to pull against it with my that's why I'm holding on to it just so that way I can pull it tight and I'm just going to wrap back to the vise Good tight wraps. Let's get that tag in out of the way. I want to just keep it as nice and clean as possible. And then we're going to take our, our whip finishing tool and we're going to give it a, I'm going to try to give it a five. I'm going to give it five or six wraps. And just snug it down real good. Get in there close and trim that, reposition it. I'm gonna take our tag, cut off our tag end. Okay, so next we're just gonna remove it from our vise. See, we got a nice fine loop. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just trim that piece by doing that we're going to take and bend this back get in here real close and I like to try to cut it at just a little bit of an angle if you can if, without catching your threads camera and just trim that off as close as possible 
So you should end up with something that looks like that. Now we're going to go ahead and stick this back in the vise. And we're going to take some loom, UV clear, and I'm just going to coat this thread. First, I'm, I'm going to start back here. Will you take your time and squeeze this out? I'm going to create a nice smooth bridge right there. And I'm just going to coat all this thread. And this UV resin, if you're not familiar with it, it doesn't dry until you hit it with the UV light. And so I'm just soaking this, making sure the UV resin gets into all the threads. I'm just using my little bodkin. Nice smooth coating. Next, take your UV flashlight. Hit it with the UV light. Give it just a dab more right on this little... I want that to smoothly transition right into the guides. In and out. The UV. That's all you need. So this is what I mean by when I cut off, I cut off my loops and then I just poke my leader through. I'm not gonna do it for the sake of time. Or I just tie a cinch knot, but let me just show you the difference real quick. What do you think is gonna go through the guide easier? The top or the bottom? It's, it's very obvious, but anyways guys, that's just a short little video on how I like to tie my floating lines for my dry fly fishing. I know there's different ways for the Euro lines and stuff. You can strip all of the coating off, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I hope it helps you guys. If it did, I'd appreciate if you liked the video and possibly consider subscribing. But thank you guys for watching. This is Steve from Black Fly Sign, and I will see you guys on the next episode.